All right, so today I'm gonna make a cow cannon. Here's my cannon, it shoots cows. So I hit this red button. <coughs> Boom, there goes a cow. Let's do it again. <coughs> cool. Who wouldn't want a cow cannon? Let's go ahead and build one. Stop this. I got a fresh world right here waiting for a cow cannon. So let's go to part and then I'll hit cylinder. And this is gonna be my barrel right here. I'm not gonna name it yet because I'm gonna do a union so I could hollow out the barrel. Let's make the size of that part 12 by six by six, big enough for a cow. Uh, collisions are off, so when I hit control D, it's gonna duplicate in place. This is gonna be a wheel. And we'll go ahead and rotate that. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. I have my rotation snaps on 15 degrees. I, think I might take, I might make that 30 degrees. There we go. Cool. Now I need to make that wheel thinner. So let's go to size on the wheel, one by six by six. Go ahead and pull that out. Control D, make another one. That's a duplicate, control D. Cool beans. Let's go ahead and tilt our barrel back. I'll do 30 degrees, one click. Cool. I also want to make this barrel hollow. So let's do another control D. That's gonna duplicate that in place. And we can see we have a part and a part. Let's make this new barrel thinner. So I'm gonna to go to size 12 by five by five. Cool. And then on model, we're gonna hit the negate. It's gonna turn that red. I'm gonna hold down control and click the outer barrel so they're both selected. Hit union, boom. We got a hollowed out barrel. That's pretty cool. All right, now I'm gonna get these wheels right here. This one right here, control, click on that. Collision, so I bump into stuff. I'm gonna bump that down to the ground. And then I'll move these wheels in to touch the barrel. There we go. That's not bad. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. Cool. Let's go ahead and add a focus part inside the barrel so we don't have to do any mathematics for calculating our trajectory. What we're going to do is just line up the cow's C-frame with the focus part and then just apply force. It's going to be really easy. I'm going to turn collisions back off. And then I'll go ahead and add a part. Yeah, let's just add it. Just add it to the workspace. And let me go to home. I like the home better. And now we need the front of this part so we could focus with it. I'm going to hit this decal. And that's going to default face front. So we need that face pointing in the direction of our cow launch. So if I hit rotate, Click on the part with the decal, push that forward that way and 30 degrees this way. Now it's pointing in the right direction. Let's make it small. It doesn't need to be big. I'll just make it one by one by one. I'm gonna center it in my barrel. So what I'll do is I'll take that union part, which is the barrel. Let's go ahead and rename that barrel. That's the union part. I'll get the position of the barrel control C to copy it, get my part, and then paste the position of the barrel into the part, control V, and now the part's inside. Cool. That's going to be a good focus part. Let's call it focus. All right. And then we'll just check to make sure that that decal is on the front, face front. Perfect. Good. You don't need the decal, we can get rid of it now. As long as, the, as long as the part's facing the right direction. Cool, we also need a button. So I think I'm just gonna take that focus part, control D, and then I'll move this up, boom. I'll make this one button. I'll put a click detector on it, there we go. And I also want it to be round, so I'm gonna change the shape of the button. There it is, shape to cylinder and I want it pointing up. Let's go ahead and rotate one, two, three, and then we'll move it in place. 
here, down. Let's make it red so people will press it. Red. Nice. All right. I like it. We need a cow. Oh, you know what else we need to do? Let's make it this into a model. We'll say barrel. Click on barrel. Control click focus. Control click button. Control click wheel. Control click wheel. Right click group. That's cannon. Sweet. I could probably move that cannon barrel down a little bit, but that's fine. All right. Uh, what else do we need to do? Let's go ahead and uh, anchor the parts. There we go. Anchor these so they don't fall apart. Anchored. Good. Now we'll go ahead and get a cow. Let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. Here's a cow. Oh, and I like this cow because it has three parts. It has this moss cow, which is a mesh. And it has decals on it. So decals don't hurt anything. Just look for scripts. You don't want any scripts. This part is an I. I think I'm going to rename that to I1. Because I'm going to do collision groups so that the cow doesn't get stuck in the barrel. So I want unique names. Cool. We are actually going to have to unanchor these and weld it together. Right? Because we want to apply force to the cow. So we don't want any of the parts anchored. Any of the base parts. Let's rename the model to cow and let's weld those parts together so we don't lose any of them. So let's do two weld constraints. Part zero will be moss cow. Part one will be I1. Control, well, we'll just go ahead and add another one. Weld constraint. Part zero, moss cow. Part one. I2. And I want to put a center part in here because meshes are a little funny with their C frames. So I'm just going to go and hit this plus sign on the cow, hit a P, add part. That's going to be my center part. My center part is going to be the part I line up with my focus. We're going to match the C frames. We need to know what the front is. So let's go ahead and add a decal. Ah, oh, the front's behind. Let's go ahead and do that. So rotate our center. I think that's good. Yep. Let's make the size one by one by one. It doesn't have to be. Oh, click center. It doesn't have to be, but might as well make it small. And then I'm going to center that by using the moss cows position. There we go. Control C. Hit center. Where's my position? There it is. Control V. Now we're somewhat centered in the in the moss cow. Notice how it's got an irregular shape. That's the problem. Let's go ahead and move that up a little bit. That center up. You can eyeball this. And then if you have like a foot sticking out of the barrel or something, you can play around with it. I think that's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and weld that to the moss cow too. So get another weld constraint on the cow. There we go. There's our third one. Part zero will be moss cow. Part one will be center. We can get rid of that decal. We just need to know what the front was. Um, one other thing I'm going to do is I think. No, nah, that's good. Oh, uh, let's get some noises. But I think I'm going to put the noise in the cannon. Let's put our cow in the cannon too. There we go. And then we'll get a moo. So we don't want models. We want audio. Moo. And let's look for a feasible moo. It's gonna be it's gonna be short. That's pretty good. Ah, that'll work for the video. It's kind of a funny moo. But it is a cow cannon, so I'm gonna put it in the cannon, not in the cow. Right. We might want to change that because we, want, we might want the cow to moo while it's flying. And then I need a cannon fire sound. Cannon fire, that's five seconds. Maybe this one. Ah, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and drag that in the workspace. It's going to say sound. We'll go down to the cannon. Make this bang. Cool. Yeah, I think we're set. I'm going to make the cow slightly smaller, though. Hit the Alt so you can select the cow. 
inside the Canon model. And then we'll just make that a little smaller. Oops, Control Z, hold down the shift. And it should shrink everything proportionally. Nice, that'll be good. All right, we're gonna clone that cow every time we fire. So let's go to our Canon and add a script. There we go, script, cool beans. Now we're gonna need a variable for the physics service, game get service, physics service. Here it is down here. This is for our collision detection. I wanna get a reference to the model, to the cow model. Uh, what is a cow? Oh yeah, there it is. And then our trigger is going to be script.parent.clickdetector, right? Oh, uh, we have button and then click detector. That's it. So our trigger. Uh, we need the barrel. How did I spell barrel? I'll just do it like this. Script.parent.barrel. Cool. And then we need the focus script.parent.focus. All right, now let's set up our collision groups. So physics service, create collision group so that the cow and the cannon doesn't collide, right? We could turn can collide off, but then you're not gonna, you're gonna be able to run through your cannon barrel and that's not gonna be accurate. So we'll say cannon's gonna be one collision group create collision group and then we'll do another collision group for the cow but we're not going to populate that until we clone it we're going to keep cloning cows we're going to get a collision group select where is it collision group set collidable method we'll pass in the two collision groups the cannon and the cow will say false, they're not going to collide. We can put the cannon parts in the cannon collision group. So what was that? That is like set part collision group. We'll say barrel, that's gonna to belong to the cannon. And then I'll do one for the focus too. Set part collision group, uh, focus, cannon. All right, good. That, that should do it. Oh, let's get references to our sounds. So we have our moo, script.parent.moo. We have our, we're going to call it bang for our canon thing, right? What do we call that? We call that bang in there too, right? Script.parent.bang. All right, what else do we got to do? Uh, let's do a method for firing the cow. I had all my math in here. I'm just going to say fire thing because you might want to like, shoot pigs or something right so this will be the thing that we're passing in and the thing's going to have a primary part right so we'll say primary part thing and then primary part primary part is a is a model is a model property let's look to make sure our cow has a primary part there we go it does not Click primary part on the cow and I'm gonna hit center. That's what we want. This is where everybody that doesn't watch the video is gonna, is gonna have trouble. All right, so we got the primary part all set. We're gonna get the direction from the primary part, right? I'm not gonna do focus. I'm gonna do the things um, center. Oh, uh, I'll do primary part C frame look vector that's going to be our direction look vector all right then i'll say primary part velocity is going to be applied to the direction times and i just played with some some forces 180 is good that's going to launch the cow so the thing is going to come in it's going to be the cow the cow is going to have a center part the center part is going to be the primary part and then the C frames look vector is going to be the direction that that primary part's facing. But what we're going to do is we're going to line up that center part on our focus part. 
right? The focus part is the direction that we're going to be going. So there's a few things in this chain here. So now let's go to our local function on fire. I'll say player is going to get passed in. We're not going to use it, but you might want to use it for points. The reason it's going to get passed in is because trigger mouse click connect is going to be connected to fire. So that's the click detector right here. And then whenever somebody clicks a click detector, player gets passed in automatically. So you have it, even though I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to say move play. So I'm going to play the move as soon as we click the, the button. I'm going to wait for the length of the of the move because I just thought that would be cool. And then I'm going to make a missile out of the cow. Cow. Clone the cow. Missile. Whoops. Missile dot parent needs to be in the workspace. So we'll just make it the workspace. And then missile dot center. That's the cow center. C frame is going to be equal to the focus, which is in the in the cannon C frame. We just move the cow in the cannon in this step. So we said, hey, make the C frame on the cow, the center part in the cow, that of the focus C frame. Boom, we just moved it into the we just moved it into the barrel. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set part collision group for all the parts of the cow so he doesn't get stuck. So we're going to have the center cow, and then I'm just going to copy these. You could do a loop if you had a lot of parts in your model, but we only have four parts in our model. So I'm just going to list them out. It's actually quicker. So we have our centerpiece. We have a Moscow piece. Remember we have an I1 and we got an I2. Perfect. I1, I2, fire cow, fire thing. It's going to be our missile. Cool. And then play the bang. That's the sound. All right, we got it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Under 20 minutes. Let's look for errors while we do it. Here we go. We can make this a little bigger. Hit our button. Nice. We could actually increase the angle on that. But that's pretty cool. You can increase the force on that. Just think of the applications for the cow cannon. All right. Well, good luck with that. Let me know if you have any questions. I will see you in the next video.